We're talking about argon flow rates today. We're also going to talk about some applications for different size cups, four through eight. And I want to show you some improvements we've made to our stubby gas lens kit. The reason you can see so much detail in this shot right here is mostly because of that clear cup. It is really lighting everything up. We'll talk about that a little bit too. For size four through eight gas lens cups, you can get right in the ballpark just by multiplying the cup size by 2.5. And here's that shot again, just to show you the example of that. This is an eight pro cup, clear cup. Multiply eight times 2.5, you get 20 CFH. You get good coverage even with a half inch stick out. I've got good argon coverage. I've got a nice tight arc and I clean the metal pretty thoroughly. All those things make a lot of difference. When you're starting to learn TIG welding, a lot of the problem is in preparation. You might think you have a technique problem when really you just have a metal prep problem. Clean metal TIG welds a whole lot better. A tight arc helps a lot too. Here's a really good example of that. I'm using 100 amps here on this lap joint. And it's more like I'm gas welding actually. I can't drive the metal down into the corner. The filler metal is balling up and blobbing into the puddle instead of feeding nicely into the puddle. And I'm oxidizing the hot tip of that rod by coming in and out of the argon. And I'm just not getting good results. When really the only thing needed here that will fix 90% of the problem is tightening up that arc. Same amperage, 100 amps, trying to keep the hot tip of the rod shielded. And all I did was tighten up the arc to make that big difference. We'll get back to talking about cup sizes here in just a minute. But I want to talk about some improvements we've made recently to our stubby gas lens kits. First thing is more cups, four through eight. We're going to show applications for each in just a minute. The thing that makes the biggest difference, we swapped out the 332 gas lens for this Furic gas lens. And what that does is it makes it work with the clear Furic cups without having to buy an additional adapter kit. Cups are sized by 16th of an inch, at least in the USA they are. So a number four cup would be four sixteenths of an inch or quarter of an inch. By the same token, a number eight cup, eight sixteenths or half an inch. Here's a quick chart showing the flow ranges for four through eight gas lens cups. And so when would you use a number four cup? And it only takes eight to 12 CFH of argon for a four cup, so obviously one time to use it would be when you just need to save gas. And one good example of that is for flash tacks. You want to turn your post flow down, turn your flow rate down. Flash tacks are where you use more amperage than, than you would use for your actual weld. And you just give it a flash, a quick bump of the foot pedal. Some machines even have a feature, a spot timer feature or something like that. Or you can turn your remote button to panel sometimes but in this case I use 90 amps for 048 steel I wouldn't weld it that hot but for flash tacks it works great also we want to make sure to have a nice fresh new electrode make sure to have your gas down I just rock it in after I touch and then give it a quick blast just like that really helps for tacking thin metal sheet metal especially when you are working by yourself you don't have anybody holding things for you so let's look at a number five cup now. A lot of really good welders love a number five for aluminum welding. And you only need 10 to 15 CFH of argon with a number five. And part of the reason that a number five works so well is that it limits the etching zone. And the energy that's spread out into that etching zone can focus into the puddle you can really tell a difference on how much your weld penetrates on a joint like this with a five cup. You can watch that puddle just sinking and that lets you know you're getting really good penetration when the puddle drops like that. A number five cup is not good for every single aluminum application, but a joint like this, it works really well on. Let's look at a number six cup now. A number six cup needs about 12 to 18 CFH. And one of, the, one of the reasons you might choose a different size cup is, would be for walking the cup. You need a certain size cup where you can wiggle it, and yet you don't want the cup to rub on the weld on a joint like this. 
for other applications of walking the cup, you might want it to be right on the weld, but on a fillet weld, usually you don't. Another application would be an all-around cup for welding aluminum. It's not that much different than a number five. You can use a little longer stick out if you need to. It's just a good all-around cup for aluminum. Whether you're using a gas lens or not, it's a good size for all-around aluminum welding. You just won't be able to use quite a long a stick out with a standard collet body. A seven cup will let you use a little bit longer stick out. Sometimes you need a long stick out for reaching in tighter angles or whatever. So a half inch stick out is not out of the question at all with a number seven cup. And you can still get really good gas shielding even with that half inch stick out. And when you're at a half inch with a number seven, you're really pushing, pushing the envelope big time if you've got a, a standard collet body. A number eight gas lens works great for stainless steel and 16 to 24 CFH is the range for a number eight. This little clip illustrates the, the big difference. I'm using a half inch stick out on all three of these welds. To start off with I'm using a standard collet body, not a gas lens. And I'm, I'm losing a little shielding there and that makes stainless really get all squiggly and doesn't flow good. I'll switch over to a stubby gas lens number eight, same gas flow same stick out and everything all of a sudden flows a lot better a whole lot better take it one step further and use a, a jazzy 10 that's got the secondary diffusers in there same gas flow i get a, a little bit better shielding and that's those extra diffusers that that make that difference it's not like night and day between the 8 and the 10 but definitely a difference but a huge difference between the standard collet body number eight which is why I almost always use stubby gas lenses with my 17 torch I just personally like the feel of a torch with the, the shorter feel on it. it's more like a 920 style a 17 is just kind of big even when you put the button on the end it's kind of hard to get in tight spaces but you put that button on the end with a stubby style cup now you've got something a clear number eight or even a ceramic number eight for that matter at about 20 CFH is a good all around cup for stainless steel, especially with chill bars. Works great on carbon steel, works great on 4130 chromoly. But the biggest difference that I have noticed, the biggest benefit of the clear eight cup is the way I can see. You know, I'm in my 60s now. I don't have 23 year old eyes anymore. It lights things up. It's kind of like a light bulb. It's actually... A lot like a light bulb it's got a tungsten glowing up inside a glass cup so that just lights the way for you makes you see better my eyes aren't what they used to be if you're having trouble this really might be a, a big help for you if you're not having trouble then a regular ceramic cup probably fine but I hope you can see in this shot right here how it just lights everything up not only in the puddle but I can see several ripples behind I can see details of where I'm going and the funny thing is, I was very skeptical about clear cups when I started. But I started using them just strictly for filming. But I saw right away that I could see a lot better. And when I go back to a pink ceramic, it's kind of like somebody dims the lights. I still use ceramic cups a lot. The good thing about it is it's very easy to swap back just by popping the O-ring off, putting a pink cup back on.